gentlemen, this is Jim Leahy with news and announcements for St. John, Kansas and Maxville on cable channel 3 and sandylandcenter.org. Today is Friday and it's the 3rd, not the 13th, but the 3rd of June. The temperature at lunchtime here is 70 degrees in the square and uh, we're looking for the next six days all to be sunny. So today is sunny and 85, Saturday 82, Sunday 83, and then warmer, Monday 87, Tuesday 88, and then Wednesday 90. So we got to figure out how to stay cool. That's our job over the next six days. Well, happy birthday today to Mary A. Green. We have none for tomorrow, and then on Sunday, happy birthday to uh, Jenny Jones, and happy anniversary to Ron and Janice Moore. Well, we wish you have to have a great weekend for your celebrations. Not going to rain on your cookout, and it isn't going to be too, too hot until late in the afternoon. Uh, now we have uh, several announcements. And uh, th mostly these are trips from the Recreation Commission. <coughs> and uh, they're doing a pizza and a movie trip on Saturday the 11th of June. And they're going to meet at Poppy's Pizza and have pizza at 5.15. At 6.15 they plan to leave for Great Bend. At 7, they'll be at the Golden Belt Cinema, and I think they have six different theaters. So you have your choice of movie. And then they arrive back in St. John around 10 o'clock. <coughs> and the fee is $25 for the pizza and the movie. And I expect probably the transportation, I don't know. Okay, then we have the brunch bunch. <coughs> And they're going around visiting a lot of interesting places. This time, on uh, Tuesday the 14th, they're going to go to Great Bend at Perkins. And Perkins is a great place in Great Bend to have brunch. I know it's something I like. And they have a really terrific uh, seniors menu too if you're over 55. But I know my favorite waitress there, I can't ever find exactly what I want on the menu. So I tell her what I like and she figures out what to call it and put it on the menu. And I'm always very happy with uh, what I get there. So uh, this would be a nice trip to go to if you have time and you want to go have brunch someplace. I think there isn't a place any better uh, in all of the towns around us then going uh, to Perkins and Great Bend for that, especially for seniors. The trip is five dollars and you have to pay for your own lunch. And then on the 29th we have our monthly Dodge Casino trip and uh, they leave at four and uh, they are there casino time from five to eight eighty. Now they're going in the afternoon and they leave Casino at 8.30 to come home, and they return at 10. And we remind you that all trips are subject to the weather forecast. If it's too hot or too windy, the trip might be canceled. And it's a good thing that they're going to go after 4, because, you know, when it gets dark, it'll cool off a little bit. And at least you won't have the sun uh, beating down on the bus while it's driving. <coughs> Then St. John Lumber is kind of having what's sort of an open house, and uh, they had it, uh, I think it was already Friday and Saturday. No, it's going to be, I guess it's this weekend. Anyway, it's on Friday from 8 to 5, and on Saturday from 8 to 2, and they invite people to come in, and we all got this nice thing in the mail that shows a lot of the things they have there. And they're really making an effort to have whatever it is that you need. 
And if they don't have it, I'm sure that they can order it for you if you're not in a big hurry. Now, uh, uh, along with that, uh, there's uh, been uh, some other things happen. <coughs> One thing that's news is that uh, the uh, petition we had to be tax exempt uh, for the building that Vernon White gave us uh, is accepted. Uh, it can be tax exempt, but not if second chances is there. And second chances is disqualified because they charge a small amount of money for the contributions that people make when they buy things. And uh, we are now working on a humanitarian uh, service uh, and we're asking for letters for pe citizens and, and business leaders uh, to uh, tell them that we consider Second Chances a humanitarian service and a resource for the town because they do a lot of good to help people. We have uh, more people, I think, than most towns that are very poor or that lose their job or that have they get sick and they can't work and those people get helped out with very low cost things and if they really have an emergency kind of disaster like a fire in their house they get whatever they need from second chances and usually it's free and uh, so second chances is definitely a resource and should they ever make more money than it costs to keep them running uh, that goes in the minister's fund, and we use that to help people with their electric bills and their gas bills and with money if they don't have money to go to that doctor, you know, to, uh, to buy their gasoline. Uh, we help transients. We do a lot of things. And so it definitely is a community resource, and several of the business leaders are writing letters, but if you're just a citizen, maybe even a volunteer at Second Chances, if you want to write a note saying we definitely are a humanitarian resource as far as our town is concerned, uh, we'd be glad to have that. But we're planning to send in uh, our petition uh, Monday because we have a limit on how soon it has to get there or it's too late and then we have to start all over again. Anyway, uh, that aside, uh, we really uh, hope that uh, things will work out. Another thing I'd like to uh, uh, put in the news is that I had a personal problem with having three lawnmowers all stop working at the same time. And uh, Nick Hammett has an ad on our channel, and I called up Nick, and he came down, and. He didn't charge very much at all to come down with his trailer and take all three lawnmowers and off he goes and he's going to bring them back soon and he doesn't charge an awful lot to fix the lawnmower. And even if I knew how to fix my lawnmower, it would take me so much longer than it takes him that it's worth what I pay to have him do it because he does it better and quicker. So that's something to think of. Uh, if you do uh, have a problem with a lawnmower or some kind of thing like, a, I don't know, all the different things that run on machinery in your garden, uh, try Nick Hammett. And his ad is on the TV. You can see it on the website. And if you can't read it or it's too much trouble, we'll call us up at Shepherd Center and we'll tell you his phone number. Well, anyway, that aside, these are great days, they're hot, and we need to get on. So, uh, the last things are the menus, which are very important. We have a smothered steak today, and with onions, and mashed potatoes, and that's at the Sunflower Center. And then on Monday, they're having a pork chop supreme with Presley Newton's noodles. And then meatballs of gravy and mashed potatoes. You know, it's sometimes you get things on the menu, you don't know what they are. But meatballs with gravy on mashed potatoes, I understand that perfectly. And then baked fish and rice pilaf on Wednesday. 
Uh, then at the VIP Center, they're having chicken salad sandwich today with cucumber and onions and sour cream and apricots. And on Monday, they're having a choice of baked fish or marinated pork roasts with uh, parsley potatoes. On Tuesday, spaghetti with meat sauce and on Wednesday, roast turkey and cranberry sauce with sweet potatoes. And that's all the announcements and uh, news of the city. Uh, we uh, have a word of the day which is kind of applicable. Uh, the saying is, everything comes to those who wait. And the comment is, especially if they work while they wait. This is Jim Lakey. Hope you have a really great weekend.